The intensive rehabilitation programs at Motion Rehab are available to individuals who may have suffered from a stroke, a spinal cord injury, a head injury, traumatic brain injury, children with cerebral palsy and we also see individuals who've had complex polytrauma so lots of broken bones that then need rehabbing to get back to day-to-day -day function. Research will tell you the more you do the better you get and that's how the brain learns and it's how it rewires itself after injury, illness or disease. So we were looking at our current rehabilitation practice and realised that one hour a week or two hour a week just seems really inadequate to help patients get better after these kind of conditions. I've always had an interest in rehabilitation technologies and where that fits within the industry and that's where the idea for this Motion Rehab Intensive Rehab Centre was conceived. That if we combine highly skilled, highly specialist hands-on therapy with rehabilitation technologies, patients can do the high repetition, intensive practice they need to make the changes to help them get better quicker. And that's what the research evidence suggests, and actually what we're seeing in practice here is it really works. I believe physiotherapy is about repetition. A base is balance and his core has come on. Never seen it like that before. Yeah. He's found the independence of walking. The technology here has brought that on. It has to be the technology because I don't think there's anything else that we've not tried. What's unique about Motion Rehab is that our robotics and VR suite is here permanently for patients to use. Patients need to do high repetitions and lots of practice in a dynamic environment. So the selection of the devices that I've chosen here are not bits of equipment that patients or clients come and try and then buy to have at home. The rehabilitation with the robotics and VR is an integral part of the programme that the patients undertake here. During their therapy, they'll have one hour a day of hands-on traditional rehabilitation techniques and the other remaining remaining three hours a day is using the technology supported by our clinicians to do the high repetitions that they need and their movements are evaluated and we modify the programme bespoke to each patient to make sure that they're achieving what is specific for them. They treat everybody as an individual which I find really important. My legs are stronger, my car is really strong now. I think one of my proudest moments was being recognised by Google and the Financial Times as an innovator in our industry, incorporating digital innovation to really disrupt and change our industry. Besides those accolades, the best thing for me is actually seeing that this vision works. The more we see our patients succeed, the more satisfying our jobs are. It might be the smallest of things, they suddenly can stand up for the first time, they can open their fingers for the first time, but when that leads into being able to eat and drink on their own, be able to go back to their own home, to manage to go to the toilet by themselves, those are huge wins from tiny little steps of rehab to get them there. In fact, the family started training, training my body, uh, training my brain to remember how to do basic things and it's, they've basically just given me my, sec my second chance to have my life back again.